Okay, good morning. My name is Leslie Williams, and today's date is December 28, 2013. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, try and find an appropriate title for this YouTube video uh, in order to have that title fit the theme of the subject matter of this particular video. I haven't come up with it yet, but as I make the video and then watch it and deliberate it, I will then try to find a title that will stick out more to, to cap in order to capture the public's attention so they can uh, uh, go to the video and watch it. Uh, it's really hard when you have so much to say that is so uh, serious of an issue that is so much of a serious, you know, the issue is so serious at times you even become tongue-tied like I am right now uh, because you have so much to say because of the seriousness of the matter and I could have I could have made footnotes yes I could have made footnotes um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just open up my mouth and and hopefully uh, I'll be able to describe uh, to the best of my ability right now what I'm trying to say you see these glasses? Uh, I'm far-sighted, so in order for me to see from a distance, I gotta, I gotta put them on and look through them. And uh, another illustration, uh, it's kind of like a metaphor for you to maybe see what I'm talking about once I describe <coughs> uh, the details. Would be to like if you were to uh, walk down the street after a heavy rain and you notice a puddle and you can see from looking down onto the puddle you can see the ground because the water's clear then you continue to walk up the street and you see another another puddle that gathered together within some dirt you look down and you can't see the ground that the puddle is resting on because of the dirt that water has become muddy well what am I trying to say hold on a second having my morning cigarette I hope and sincerely pray that you stay with this video because as soon as I get done smoking my cigarette I'm gonna get into the to the details of the subject matter of this particular video this video is about torture non-consensual human experimentation and the criminals who are perpetrating these criminalities against the vulnerable, the innocent, the disenfranchised, and how we're kept from any type of uncorrupted legal assistance as a result. We all know, uh, once you become older, we all become aware. Uh, if, if, we're, if we're ever in a situation that might help us through experience become aware, or basically based on research you might become aware, of how hard it would be for the average, just your average American citizen, whether you be low income, middle class, or upper middle class, how much legal fees can uh, basically drain your bank accounts. Hold on a second. Well, this is where the muddied waters come into play at. Say if you're a victim of an extremely heinous crime, a crime that is literally a crime that is not even known by the general public at all at all so they wouldn't even have the ability to be able to discern the details of what makes up the crime okay and then in order for that in order then for the public who is researching who is who is trying to form an opinion about the crime and then if they don't have the details in order to be able to see who's involved in the crime they're not going to be able to make sense of the crime even happening or how it came about and then the powerfulness of the individuals who perpetrated the crime against the vulnerable they're not even going to have an idea of what's going on is what I'm basically trying to say and so that's the reason why I'm making this particular video my name is Leslie Williams. I live in La Jolla, California, San Diego County. I am a target victim and activist concerning the criminal expeditions of what is known as organized stalking, which can also be termed as gang stalking. 
but make no mistake about it. Organized stalking and gang stalking is the lower level crimes that happen to us targeted individuals, but they are heinous, okay, as well. Now, if a targeted individual is a target uh, of uh, non-consensual human experimentation, and to give you an example, uh, to give you a template to build, build upon, a foundation, you can go to YouTube and type in Timothy W. Bioethics Commission. I mean, I'm sorry, Timothy W. Bioethics Issues. And once you bring up his video, you'll hear him talk about neurocognitive weapons and brain entrainment. Now, after you watch that video, a good, a, a good way to continue to approach your education concerning these crimes is to observe what all of the other targeted individuals that are in the YouTube videos that are in the column that come up once you bring up the Timothy W video. Okay? Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to explain to you, watch the Timothy W Bioethics Issues YouTube video and then notice, just notice, that there's other videos that are in the column that come up. Okay? Right over to the right. All of those videos are videos of targeted individuals testifying before the Presidential Bioethics Commission that was appointed by President Obama, I believe in 2000, anywhere between 2009 and 11. Okay? Now, I could be a little wrong in those dates, but you're going to at least be able to find some from 2010 and 11. Okay? Now, keep that in mind, that those, that those videos exist, because you're going to want to watch those. Now... The reason why I'm saying keep those in mind is because when you look at the Timothy W. Bioethics Issues YouTube video, you're going to hear him talk about neurocognitive weapons and brain entrainment. The only way you're going to be able to see the brain entrainment and understand what that is, is to go to YouTube and type in brain entrainment by itself. Uh, to basically see it's nothing but a, 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 a way that the brain can be entrained to learn to think in, to, to think in certain ways learning comes as a result and then resulting motor cortex associated behaviors result from the thinking and the learning now the brain entrainment is necessary for the neurocognitive weapons to operate correctly but there's also other technology though that can that can directly influence direct neural influence okay psychological direction in the targeted individual's brain even without the entrainment. So, we're looking at two separate, just two separate small parts of the non-consensual human experimentation that is happening to targeted individuals. So, what you need to do is go to YouTube, um, go to Google and type in Freedom From Covert Harassment and Surveillance. Okay, now that's a home page of a web page of an of a, uh, organization that is listed on the internet as being an advocacy, uh, as a advocacy organization for targeted individuals. When you bring up their webpage, go down to the very, very, very bottom of their webpage and you'll see three PDF links. Pay close attention to every single one of them, okay, including the information that is in the resources feature of each PDF link. And the best thing to do if you're, if you're interested, truly interested, and figuring out these criminalities that are happening to average American citizens and citizens worldwide in other countries as well, okay, is to print out these, uh, to print out these uh, PDF links. Now I'm going to just going to go ahead and throw out really fast some other cooperative material for you to research because if you decide to investigate these criminalities in depthly, you're going to need the cooperative material as well. Go to Google and type in surveillanceissues.com. Go to Google and, t and you can uh, YouTube that as well. I don't know if you can get anything up at YouTube by typing that in. Go to YouTube and Google and type in UnitedTargetedIndividualsEurope.com and especially pay attention to the TI symptoms feature on their website and research as well them on YouTube. Okay. You can also go to YouTube and type in BugSweep.com. Okay, and look at what that private investigator, uh, private investigator and his firm researches. You can also go to YouTube and type in John Hall Satellite Terrorism YouTube videos and you can Google him because he has also been on national radio shows. Now, the whole goal for this video is to try and help you understand uh, the factual realities of these crimes. There's a, there was a bill that was introduced to the House and the Senate written by Dennis Kunich 
I think his last name is spelled K-U-N-I-C-H. Uh, I think the bill was originally introduced in 2006, but don't quote me on it. The original bill, I think it, if, I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, was H.R. 2685 or 2681, something like that. But in order for you to find it, just go to Google and type in Dennis Kunich Bill Psychotronics, and you'll eventually find it. In the original bill that he drafted, he included psychotronics in that bill. They wouldn't accept that one, and then modified it, and then passed the one that was modified, and the modified current one does not include psychotronics. I strongly suggest you research that as well, because it talks about space weapons. And this is where the satellite technology that John, John Hall talks about comes into play at, as well as with HARP. as well as HARP, Star Wars, and uh, satellite technology that is being used against targeted individuals. Now, you might think to yourself, this is definitely some deep stuff. The Air Force Air Space Command is more than likely involved in these expeditions as well. Now, targeted individuals, if you can imagine, if you could just like sit back right now, whether you're sitting down or standing up, and you're looking at this video, and you haven't done any of your research yet, but you think to yourself, okay, you know, she's she's detailing all these places that I can go to, and just the Air Force Air Space Command, the Psychotronic, the Star Wars, the John Hall Satellite Terrorism YouTube videos, and since I have described some things to you that could not be made up out of thin air, you might have already concluded that there might be something here for you to investigate that's tr that's based on truth. Now, if you can just get a preliminary idea in your mind that if these things were going on and these types of weapons were being used against a person, whether they be rich, middle class, poor, whatever, do you honestly believe for one second, for one second, that the military has not covered their ass in reference to making sure that illegal legislation has been passed in order to protect the criminalities they're perpetrating? I'm here today to tell you, fellow American citizens, yes. Now, you can go to YouTube as well and type in 5-22-11. Dash means hyphen. Okay? James Lambert. It's supposed to be James Walbert, but they spelled it wrong. So you got to spell you got to spell it Lambert. James Lambert, David Larson. Okay? Down the rabbit hole. And what they are is basically... Uh, videos of them two individuals being interviewed by Federal Jack's YouTube channel by a radio talk show that a uh, host that goes by the name of Popeye. Just do it. Trust me, do it. David Larson is an elected official for the Yucca Valley Water, Water Board. And he's a victim of non-consensual human experimentation as well. And he has, him, him and James Walber have, are two targets who have been fortunate enough to get a measurable, marginalized amount of help and recognition, okay, from specific state rep representatives in reference to what's happening to them. Nick Be uh, Beggage is another one that you can pay close attention to. You can also research Robert Becker and Robert Duncan. A couple books that you can uh, pay attention to, a few of them are titled The Invisible Crime by Mike Fitzhugh Bell. Uh, the Soul Catcher, either, that, that book was either uh, written by either Robert Becker or Robert Duncan. Uh, Electronic Torture, Electronic Rape, Technology and Gang Stalking at the Post Office by a Jewel Crayon. Her last name is spelled K-R-A-Y-A-N. Okay? And the reason why I'm giving you all the uh, descriptions is for you to write them down if you feel inclined to do so. You can audio tape them and then go back and listen to them and write them down. You can save this YouTube video for as long as it lasts. I don't know if it's going to be eventually taken off of YouTube. And then you can take what I state and research and cross-reference is the key. Cross-referencing is the key. But let's get back to the muddy water metaphor and the seeing through the eyeglasses metaphor. Why did I do that? Well, if you were, let's say, a year from now, you have investigated every single thing that I have described. 
and as a result of you investigating every single thing that I've described, you have, you have been able to find other research and connecting technologies and connecting crimes that have been brought about against targeted individuals as a result of these technologies I've described and other ones that you will come across as well, okay? And basically what I'm saying is by the time that year has expired, you will undeniably, 100% completely conclude that innocent American citizens and other citizens in other countries are being tortured, okay, exploited, nearly enslaved, murdered, raped, assaulted, falsely imprisoned, falsely institutionalized, set up to be jailed, okay, because of them being victims of this crime and how the system is perpetrating them and then protecting them. And then totally and completely destroying the targeted individual's life and or setting them up to be murdered and then murdered in order to protect the exposure of what's happened to them. If you came to that realization towards the end of the year, can you imagine every single, you can't imagine the suffering the target went through not just in the torture and the non-consensual human experimentation, but also in the menocide, okay, the identity, uh, the mental identity rape that the targeted individual experiences. And I'm going to backtrack for a second because I, I just remembered a couple things that you can also additionally research at YouTube and Google and do it extensively. Those, fo those descriptions are as follows. Mind hacking, mind uploading, and mind transferring. Just do it, okay? Uh, <clears throat> the computer-to-brain feedback loop, okay? That's called the computer-to-brain <clears throat> computer link in either, in either the first or second PDF file that I mentioned is that, uh, of the three, that I mentioned that is at the bottom of freedom from covert harassment and surveillance. So, basically, what I'm saying is, is that when the targeted individual, before they're institutionalized, put in prison, or murdered, or living in such bad poverty states, all of that covertly created, managed, and kept managed for the targeted individual to live in, which basically puts them under, okay? If the target has no money at all, not even a nickel, okay, they cannot get back and forth by bus anywhere to go see a lawyer, okay? They can't feed themselves, which, and they can't shelter themselves or close themselves which means that the targeted individual has a new life. Basically, every single day is dedicated to survival. And that poverty is, is covertly, intentionally created and kept, the target is intentionally kept in it by the perpetrators. Okay? That's another way that they keep the targeted individual down so they can continually be uh, human experimented on, okay? Without no walls, without no bar cells. Okay? That's right. Because the technologies that are being utilized against the targeted individual are being utilized remotely. They don't need to entrap a target in a prison or in a psychiatric floor or in a hospital to engage in these non-consensual human experimentations because the technologies that are being perpetrated against them are used by frequencies. That's right. And that's why I gave you the descriptions for you to investigate in this YouTube video. Once you take this information and you research it over time and connect the dots by cross-referencing and synthesizing the research, you will see that I'm telling you the absolute literal truth. Now, while the target is living throughout all these things that are happening towards them, they attempt to discover what's happening to them and then they attempt to get help and they attempt to expose the perpetrators. While the targets are not only continually being experimented on, tortured, assaulted, even raped, thrown in jail, thrown in institutions, surviving all that, even while being put on psychotropic medications that they do not need at all whatsoever. Just imagine yourself. You're an average person, whether you're an American or not, and you're sitting and you're watching this video. Imagine someone creatively taking you out of your home, stealing everything you've got, including all your money, okay? And then... Subjecting you, subjecting you to an event that you later find out was staged in order to put you either in jail, prison, or an institution or a psychiatric floor 
and in all four of these places you can be set up to be provoked or or uh, an event can be staged that can literally uh, be uh, the event see when they stage an event in these expeditions they they're staging them for a reason it's called framing the situation to frame the result the result being for them concerning the motivation of why the event was trans uh, was set up and then implemented was to blame the target on the event in order to make it appear they have a legitimate reason to put the target into county mental health psychiatric um, facilities uh, psychiatric floors and area neighborhood hospitals and this is all done for the intentional intentional we're talking about malice of forethought and criminal intent to intentionally put the target on psychotropic medications while making it all appear illegal legal l-e-g-a-l on paper and that's done to compromise the target's cognitive uh, abilities to impair them while they're already being impaired cognitively because of the remote technologies that are being perpetrated against them again make sure you at least at least look in the three PDF links at the bottom of Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance and another book that you need to look at is called The Body Electric either by uh, Robert Duncan or Robert Becker now <coughs> the only way that you're going to be able to see the entire scope of these expeditions is to research every single name and description I've described in this YouTube video and then as a result of doing that you're going to stumble across more then you will be able to literally see the truth and then once you see the truth, that water I talked about, that puddle at the beginning of this YouTube video, it won't be a muddied one. You'll be able to see through clear glasses. Okay? Not an obstruction. Okay? Not, not, um, not uh, a distorted pictorial representation based on you not having enough evidence. So, let's look at uh, the last part of these purpose and reason why I'm making this video the subject matter of it think about going through all this and then attempting to whether how much the target realizes what's happening to them or not a target can have a basic understanding of why of uh, what's happening to them why and who's involved they can have none or they can have the entire pictorial representation of the truth it doesn't matter they still will not be able to get any help in the legal community at all because lawyers can be bribed, intimidated, influenced. Lawyers can even be neurally influenced by the perpetrators. You would never believe what I know. Okay? Uh, law firms can be intimidated. Then, if a target's still lucky enough to find somebody who knows enough about these criminalities to where they even know that they can be neurally influenced and are able to watch out for that and then still continue to advocate for the target, the case can be brought before a syndicated judge or an N or a NSA letter okay can literally obstruct the targeted individuals ability to ever get truthful uncorrupted justice let alone restitution let alone getting their lives back and guess what will continue all throughout the whole entire thing and then from that date forward still the same exact torture I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. You know, if you can, you can't even imagine what us targeted individuals go through. How virtual reality simulations are created by these perpetrators in computers, and how those virtual simu uh, uh, simulations are put within a computer, within the same computer that's got the target's consciousness uploaded in, into it. And then once the virtual simulation, see, virtual reality, hang on a second. Alright, I gotta start closing this video up, but let me give you a tidbit of how sophisticated this, these perpetrators are and who they're connected to. And let me just, uh, this is the first time I've ever mentioned this. But if you do extensive research into this, you will come to understand, or will you come to understand, is the way I originally intended to say it. Are Hollywood screenwriters, producers involved in these expeditions? And if they are, is there a CIA connection? All you got to do in your first day of research, even before researching all the descriptions that I've described in this video as of, you know, so far. In fact, the very first thing that you can research right now, in-depthly, 
okay, is to go to Google and type in the CIA in Hollywood. The CIA in movies. I'll get to that eventually, you better believe I will. Now, virtual reality simulations are basically nothing but... Uh, to give you an idea of what virtual reality is, to give you an older idea concerning what it is, and don't, bra don't base your current understanding of what's happening to targets on this old movie, because that movie was made back in the 80s or 90s, is to go and watch, you could probably buy it through Netflix or eBay, uh, Lawnmower, Lawnmower Man 1 and 2. It's got some pretty good... Uh, some pretty good uh, pictorial representations of what the older virtual reality is. Okay, now virtual reality is basically when you go to a movie uh, theater and watch a movie, you're basically watching a bunch of actors and actresses play out a script. Okay? That came from a screenplay writer. Okay? That is a reality of a... Uh, that is... It, it, it's not really a virtual reality, but basically what it is, it's, it's a production for you to watch. Well, virtual reality is nothing but a scripted production that is made by using virtual realities instead of real actors. Okay? And basically what they do is create this virtual reality simulation in a computer using such sophisticated computer technology that every single actor in the virtual reality simulation looks just as real, just as real, as if you were sitting in a movie theater watching a movie. They can then upload the tar and then take a high definition picture of the targeted individual, place that person's body inside the virtual reality production to interplay within the other pl players that are made part of the virtual reality simulation. Then they take that targeted individual's consciousness and, inter and upload it into a computer to have that consciousness interact with the high-definition virtual uh, uh, picture uh, of the targeted individual who's already been put in the virtual simulation and then upload the entire thing back into the target's current consciousness in real time as they're sleeping. And if you don't believe me, pay attention to enough of those targeted individuals testifying before the Bioethics Commission that I talked about at the very, very beginning of this, uh, of this video file. When I said that you can type in at YouTube, Timothy W. Bioethics Commission, okay? Once you bring bioethics issues, once you bring that up, you'll see a bunch of YouTube videos that come up on the sidebar. Those are targeted individuals testifying before the Bioethics Commission. You're going to hear at least two of them talk about virtual reality. That's right. And artificial dreams. Artificial dreams are flat out mentioned in the remote neural monitoring file at the very, very bottom of freedom from covert harassment and surveillance. This is where the mind transfer, the mind hacking, and the mind uploading comes into play at. That's right. We're talking about literal torture. And you would not believe the horrific screenplay of these of these uh, artificial dreams that the target is forced to interact with as a result of the target's consciousness being uploaded into a computer. Then the com then that is uploaded into a virtual reality uh, script to be played out and then transmitted back into the target's video cortex as they're sleeping. So. And this is this one, that's, that's child's play compa compared to what else the targeted individual is experiencing. You would not believe what I know. You would not believe what I know. Some, some targeted individuals' bodies are even uh, raped through electronic rape uh, capabilities. And that's where the phantom touch of the remote neural monitoring file comes into play at where the targeted individual's body can be made to feel like it's being touched by an invisible force. That's right. That's not including the fact that these perpetrators can literally even control the hands, the arms, and the legs of the targeted individual's body. That's right. And if you do your research, you'll see other targeted individuals testifying what I'm t <gasps> uh, Excuse me, sorry. What I'm talking about, you'll flat out literally see it. So, 
how can us targeted individuals ever escape the muddied waters is by making sure that when you given you enough information for you to investigate so at least you'll be able to see through looking the looking glass okay so at least the public can become aware of what's happening to us we don't we don't we don't own we we, we don't own news stations we don't have a platform we're literally put under to the point to where we cannot get no help at all so we have the spirit, we have the truth, we have the personality, and we have the desire, but we don't have the resources, the platforms, the money, or the connections to expose what's factually happening to us. So we use YouTube videos to do it. And we just hope and pray that somebody's listening. I appreciate you listening to this video. We inform the truth in order to expose the truth. We, we expose the truth in order to inform. So you can watch out for these expeditions because they are happening in every community in the United States. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.